Some 300 same-sex couples gathered in Taipei to register their marriages today. The registrations took place at Xinyi District Office one week after lawmakers voted to legalize gay marriage in Taiwan. Journalists from all over the world came to report on the historic moment as Taiwan became the first in Asia to legally recognize same-sex marriage. Following Taiwan's historic ruling, these two women show off their ID cards, which for the first time ever display one another's name. This happy couple share a kiss and proudly present their wedding rings. To be able to say to everyone, to be able to stand before so many people and proclaim that we are getting married and we are a gay couple, I feel so lucky. I feel so proud of my country that it can be this progressive. I'm so thankful to everyone. Actually, we in the LGBT community have lived our whole lives for this day, and now it's finally here. We've never had the sun shine down upon us as it does today. Outside of the Xinyi district office in Taipei, these newlyweds celebrated with other members of the LGBT community, including veteran gay rights activist Qi Jiawei. We are joined by so many friends from other countries who are cheering us on for achieving marriage equality. I hope that the couples here today can grow old together and forever bathe in the glory of love. In 1986, Qi's case on registering his same-sex marriage was rejected by the Taipei District Court. In the 30 years that followed, he fought for marriage equality with every means at his disposal. In May 2017, the Council of Grand Justices ruled that obstructing same-sex marriage was unconstitutional, finally bringing Qi's 30-year battle to a happy conclusion.